Okay, awesome ones. I know a lot of you have seen me without my makeup on, but not a lot of you have seen me without my defrizzing products. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm showing you my hair before I put the defrizzing products in, and uh, I'm going to I teach you how to tame this crazy beast of hair uh, in just a few seconds. So I have five main products to show you what I use to really control this frizziness that I have. Now I assure you I didn't tease up my hair or make it look worse. I just sort of washed it and let it be so you know there's no trick photography with this this is what i <laughs> usually am faced with um hey maybe some of you even cut off a lot of your hair because you just couldn't handle this anymore well there's some really good news there's some amazing products out now and i'm going to show you what they are so i'm just going to show you steps for curly hair in this video but it also applies to when you straighten your hair. Um, here's a little clip over here where you can see that, yes, I do use a ceramic uh, iron on my hair. I do straighten my hair. And um, I use all the products except for the curling foam. Um, that's the only one that I wouldn't use. Now, the one thing that you need to do if you are straightening your hair, you really have to have a good haircut because every little end is going to show with that. So. Uh, but no, these products really work for straight hair as well. So I have long hair, but you know what? Even if I had my hair cut into a short bob, I still have the frizziness. So this is for all of you, you know, young or old, short hair or long hair. So I actually washed my hair a short time ago and I just let it air dry. Now what I did was um, I also towel dried my hair. Now a lot of you are saying to me, no, don't do that. Um, yes, I do have those hair turbans. Uh, you know how to use these, right? You just put your, all your wet hair inside them and tie them around. Um, I do find these microfibers are really, really a nice touch, these um, hair turbans. But I also find that I just don't seem to have a lot of time for them to kind of let my hair dry up in them. But, um, you know, if I have a day like that, I do. What I generally do is I wash my hair about an hour before bedtime um, so that it dries. So I actually did step one already. And uh, the reason I like to wash my hair at night, not in the morning, because in the morning I'm just too busy and at night I'm a little more relaxed. But anyway, so um, I used an amazing shampoo. Now, usually when I use a different kind of shampoo, after I've washed my hair, I can't do, let me just show you that. I also put the conditioner on. Check that out. My hair is like so amazingly soft. Oh, there was a little knot there, but not much of one. And although it's frizzy, um, this is the shampoo that I use. It's, um, it's called Nunu. It's by Davinez, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I also have the conditioner. Look at how thick the conditioner is. It smells really nice too. Um, now, you can get this online. And uh, what I'm going to suggest is buy the smaller version first because, you know, they try it out, see if you like it. And then what you can do, and you can see that uh, I've got mo both the conditioner and uh, the shampoo here, you can kind of graduate to buying the larger ones and it really, really works out uh, so much cheaper in the long run. But they also have, if you are really growing out silver or white hair, they also have a purple shampoo and it's called Alchemy and it's it's really awesome if you want to keep that kind of um, sparkle of, of silver in your hair and I'm going to mention at this point too that um, I'm going to put a description uh, sorry I'm going to put a link in the description back to our blog uh, where you can find these products because you can get them at some hairdressers but they I also found a place for them online um, 
you know, we make a little commission on that. I have to say that on every video. Uh, but to be honest, we're, we're doing the videos Tuesdays and Fridays. And well, gosh, it really, really helps us um, that little bit of commission. So thank you for all of those people who are doing that. I really, really appreciate. So yeah, I, I wish you could feel the softness. It's just amazing. Next up. Oh, and by the way, this isn't a sponsored video. Uh, these are just products that I use that I actually really, really love. And uh, yeah, so you can sort of see that I've already washed the hair. I explained all of that. And I did do a video. I'm going to put it up there on, you know, how to apply the shampoo, how to apply the conditioner. You don't use an awful lot of it and it doesn't really foam a lot. So um, yeah, I'll put that up there so that you can take a look at it. I don't want this video to be really, really long. So I'll kind of skip that kind of step. But um, what's number three? So here's number three. It's secret weapon. <laughs> it really is like a secret weapon. It's John Frieda. It's called Frizzies. Um, and it's it's great. You can usually find it like in a grocery store or a drug store. I also have a link for it online as well. It's usually less than $10. You might go, well, you know, $10, that's a lot of money. But you know what? You just use, I'm using quite a bit of this right now. I gotta buy some more, I guess. But you just use about that much. So really, it, it lasts and lasts. So here's what I do with this. I just sort of put it in my hands like this, like that. And then I just do the professional scrunch, <laughs> scrunch technique. Oh, it's not really professional. But what I do is the hair is now either completely dry. I got a mirror over here, so sorry if I'm going to sort of cheat to that side here. But look what's happening already. The amazing scrunch technique. <laughs> Only $9.95. Buy the video. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my videos are free. It's nice. Um, so yeah, so there you go. And you can sort of see, and I kind of, I don't go into the roots. Um, because I only wash my hair once a week now. So you don't want to get a lot of products into your roots because it makes you kind of scratchy after a while and itchy. But um, can you see how this is kind of working here? So um, the other thing is I do this the next morning because it doesn't take a lot of time. So I'm, I've um, sort of slept on my dried hair after I washed it. Then the next morning I'll put this in, maybe put on a little bit of makeup, um, do the next step and put on a little more makeup. And this is how it all works. So starting to look good already. And the, health, the hair feels healthier this way too, not as uh, dried. So the fourth product that I use is, again, Frizzies, and it's called Curl Reviver. Now, I have natural curls in my hair, as you can see, but I also suggest, you know, if you kind of want to do that scrunched look that uh, I used to, well, maybe I don't have natural curls because I'm always going like this. So I'm kind of finding something and, and curling it up. I don't know. I have to try one day without any products, and but you kind of saw in the first part how it was kind of straight. So yeah, the scrunch technique, it really, really helps. So I like the foam. Um, I just, again, <laughs> put about that much on my hand here. And I like to kind of, I put that much on. Now when you put it on, obviously it's gonna be all foamy looking, but it does dry out. Um, the other thing is, you said that you uh, don't wash your hair, you like you wash your hair about once a week. Yeah, um, that doesn't mean that the curl stays in all week long. Um, what ends up happening is uh, usually in the morning I just have to reapply this, but again, not on the roots. I don't want too much product on my scalp. All right, so let's, um, I'm gonna just cheat over here a little bit and see how this looks. Don't put too much on the natural curl of my bangs here because I'm, I'm kind of lucky they kind of curl that way. When they decide to do the dreaded awful flip, like maybe I slept on it wrong or something, I just dampen it out. I put a bobby pin in there and then just do a little bit of straightening with it. So uh, just with my fingers and let it dry that way. Okay. Isn't this magical how it's working now? 
What a difference between uh, this and the first scene, eh? Step number four. So the next step is again by John Frieda Frizzies. It's the Extra Strength Six Part or Six Effects Serum. So let me just read this for you. Um, it eliminates frizz, humidity protection, heat protection, smooths, hydrates, and tames. Yep, need them all. <laughs> again, you're just going to use a little dab of this. Again, this is about $10, two or less. I think it's less than $10. Uh, this is a little bit messy uh, because it's, it's really like an oil. And let me tell you something. I'm going to tame some of my flyaway frizzes right now, but when I do a straightening of my hair, this stuff is magic. And you, you put it through your hair, it smooths your hair. You know those women who look like they have like a really beautiful shine to their hair. This is what they probably put it on or something like it. And also I really work into, um, you know, the ends of my hair where it's dry and, and it just, you know, as, as long as you've got a good cut of hair, it really looks fantastic. So what I'm going to do here is I can sort of see, again, I'm not putting it into the roots, but I can sort of see that there's a lot of frizzies here at the top. Um, don't forget to do the back of your hair as well. People see that. Um, and I don't know if you can really notice, but it's, it is taming it a little bit more. It's, it's bringing it in a little bit more. And if you don't like the way that these, you know, curls look almost, um, like they're really there, the curls, well just take, a, where's one of my brushes here, my combs, just take a comb like this and run it through and smooth it out into waves. Or of course you can also do it with your fingers to smooth it out into waves. But um, yeah, this stuff is fantastic. And I always have a, a tissue by because yeah you got to wash this stuff off you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be driving with this because it's so oily and then just soap and water takes it right off there all right so we're pretty well done I'm just going to do some final touches and let's take a look at those now, I'm kind of lucky I have a natural flip here again I mentioned I'll just wet it down if it just goes a little haywire in the morning but um, what I also like to do is my hair is you know you get all this nice frizziness and everything and then you got flat head on top so um, I usually take a little brush like or sorry a comb like this and I just yeah I know it looks like I'm messing the whole thing up but just be very careful just get a little bit of hair here and I and I give it a little bit of a tease you know not like ooh super poof or anything like that but I just I just give it a little bit of a tease so that it it just sort of fits in with the rest of the of the look here. Um, it's hard when you've got a mirror on the side like that, but yeah. And then if um, if I have to, if my hair is, you know, I'm thinking to myself, you know, well, that's going to be a rough day today. It's super humidity out there. I might use a um, a hairspray like this. This one is called uh, is from Schwarzkopf. And yeah, I'll try to find that for you as well and link it. And then what I would do is I just give a little spray. Watch. Again, not on the roots. Just like that. And that's going to keep that in its place. Now let's take a look at the two different uh, photos or videos of me before and after. So I'm going to show a little bit of a before and no sorry before <laughs> and after so here's me before and um, also what you can sort of see is that I probably wouldn't want to go out anywhere with my hair like that and for some of you maybe you might even want to cut your hair you know maybe you're thinking about I got to cut my hair well try the six steps out first you know if you really it's on your wish list to have longer hair maybe it's just that you're not using the right kind of products and i just want to show you the side of my hair here and what actually happened the definition there um you know how sort of doing a bit of that scrunching really helped to bring the curls out and with the shampoo and conditioner how really really healthy it all looks i'm really happy with it so someone else who uses special shampoo and conditioner is our little hurricane. Hi 
Hurricane, how you doing? Yeah? So anyway, he's uh, he's here with his special, uh, he just got a haircut not too long ago as well. And uh, to say hi to all the subscribers out there. Hey everyone. And um, one of the things that's really important is that <laughs> we let him kiss me now on camera because that's I think why he was doing that lick lick thing all the time. He wanted to give me a big kiss. So uh, sorry about that if you don't like dog kisses. But uh, anyway, that's what he likes to do. Okay, so Tuesdays are the lifestyle and travel and food and inspirational videos. And of course, Friday are beauty and fashion. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. You know, you're really encouraging us to keep going on these videos. And if you are a subscriber, right beside the subscribe button down there is uh, a bell. And if you click on the bell, it will let you know that there are videos that have just come out from us. Um, also, every day now, we're putting up a photo or a little video clip on Instagram. So just search Awesome Over 50 for your daily dose of happiness from us. And uh, we really hope we put a smile on your face with those um, messages as well. And uh, in the meantime, let the wind blow through your lovely locks of hair, put on a big smile and share it with others and keep it awesome. <laughs> Everyone's invited to subscribe and join us on our videos.